Demonstration of signing, features and walkthrough. Before we start, some explanation will be done of already made pre-preparation. In your local drive, or preferably an USB, we have Easy Signature software. Your private signature file that makes it possible to sign files is also in the same folder. If you want to know how to generate such a file, please watch the quick start tutorial demo. Since the private signature file is in the same folder as Easy Signature software, it will automatically be loaded. We have also some public signature information. They do not need to be in the same folder and can be put anywhere. We will use these files later in the demo. Finally, we have a Word document example that we will sign later. Notice that you can sign any type of file with Easy Signature. Let us start the software. Notice that the test name signature file is automatically loaded. You can always load other private signature files under the Signature Maintenance tab. Let us sign a file. This can be done by clicking Sign a file or drag it to this dialog. Notice the file properties. The file is by default embedded inside the signature. This ensures that the content cannot be changed. You can always open the original file using Easy Signature. It is also possible to encrypt the file with a secret password before you sign it. The encryption method is 256-bit AES with 256-bit BCB. Notice that you can add additional information to the signature. Notice that the calculated file hash is displayed here. Compare the file inside the signature with an external file by clicking on external compare. It is easy to check if the files are identical. Before signing we will fill in some additional information. It is now time to sign the file. You need to enter your private password to sign the file. Notice the progress information. The original file and the digital signature are merged into one single file. We will now examine external compare and more info. We will now compare an external file with the signature to check if they are identical. We have not changed the content of the file, so the files are identical.
You can see additional information here. This is especially interesting if a digital signature is not valid because of manipulation. If your company has a valid certificate, can be obtained for free. The certificate information will be visible here. The name of your company or organization. The unique company or organization certificate ID. The size of your public key and the validity date of your certificate are visible here. Your own customized organization or company logo will be visible here. Notice that this file is digitally signed by test name. Your name, title, date of signature and a scanned image of your signature are visible here. The digital status is visible here. Clicking on it will give more detailed information. Digital signature details are displayed here. You can open the original file by pressing this button. In this case, it will load MS Word. Notice that the file is temporary. Saving here does not change the content of the embedded file. Let us go through some additional but very useful functionality. As you notice, you can add comments to the signature. This is very useful during reviews, etc. Notice that comments are not part of the signature and are only additional information. You can make paper copies or PDFs using the print function. All the information to ensure the digital safety can be printed or saved to PDF. Please do not make paper copies, make digital PDF. You can add other people that need to sign this document using their public signature info file. If you have configured auto email settings, an automatic email will be sent to everyone when this function is used. We are going to add pseudonym Kalle Nilsson. Notice that the person we add is visible in the list. Notice the digital signature status. 
clicking the Waiting for Signature will bring detailed info. When you're finished with the document, you can remove all unsigned names with this button. Now we are going to demo the merge functionality. However, we need a copy of the signature file with another name. We will save a different copy of the signature that contains the additional name Kalle Nilsson. As you can see, the original copy does not contain Kalle Nilsson. This happens from time to time, for example when people sign their own copies. You can merge all the signatures into one file using the merge function. As you can see, Kalle Nilsson is now added. We hope that this tutorial has been useful. Please support Easy Signature. Please donate. Or share Easy Signature with your friends and colleagues.